We gonna throw those toilets in. This toilet right here that we installed actually got a leak in it. And what it's doing is just leaking back into the hole down the drain. So it's leaving the toilet empty. So I went ahead and grabbed two more toilets. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this one. Um, and the one over here is going with this Delta right here. That's the one that's actually in there right now. So hopefully that's not like a common issue. This is a nice toilet. I like the rectangle button that's on the top of it. And the good thing I like about this one, you don't need no special tools. It's twist handles for the little ties and stuff like that. The other little feature like hydro wash, flush and Happens, you know what I'm saying? Slow close, see dual flush, all that good stuff. It'll be down in the description below. Y'all wanna grab this one? So I unpack this toilet and then you see me unscrewing this toilet here. I put it on a bucket so it catch any water that comes out of there and the floor won't be wet. I did have a wrench and I used that wrench just to unscrew the water supply line off of that shutoff valve. Everything else is pretty much hand tightened. So you see Junior helping me. Literally with just hand tighten bolts, wing nuts, which is real easy to tighten down. Even the little flusher there, you gotta adjust it and all that is just hand tighten. So all the way down to the toilet seat, you can just hand tighten it down, which is like really good. So one down, one more to go. This one was the same exact install, the same toilet. Everything was exactly the same. The only thing that was different on this one here is that I had to install some shims underneath the toilet. And I'll put that down in the description below. You can actually get them from Amazon. They sell a whole multi-pack of them, so you would definitely have enough. You see, I went ahead and hit that with some paint too before we covered it up. There's the shims there. All you gotta do is stick them underneath, make sure it's nice and level. After you get it tightened down, just take a blade and cut those little tabs off that's sticking out from underneath the toilet. Some people like to caulk underneath the toilet. I don't, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you leave a like and always know if you want more art life, go to artttlife.com.